where do you see uh, possible areas of cooperation, uh, especially with churches? You, you, you are born from the ecumenical movement, but how do you see this cooperation growing uh, and uh, more people uh, accessing uh, the, the resources that you, you can provide? Uh, there are I think, many ways that churches can be involved with OICO credit. So either if you have, of course, um, excess liquidity, you can put it in as an investment in OICO credit. And then, of course, you get informed on what we do with the money, like the examples I just talked about. But if you are uh, in a vulnerable community, active as a church, and you want to, um, I would say, uh, do a pilot with community resilience and climate then we have a foundation where uh, project proposals can be sent to for a grant. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's something for churches also to, to get access to money to really, yeah, if that project really helps to foster community resilience, then we can look from the foundation if we can give a grant to, to pilot such a thing. And if it's successful, and even if you have maybe in a project that costs about say 500,000 to a million, then you can come for investment and financing. Thank you.